Hey guys, so I was having a thought today. Why do powerlifters or weightlifters or strongmen or basically anybody who's been lifting weights competitively or just for a long time, why do they retire from the sport when sometimes they still have things they can still accomplish? Well, one aspect, when you look at other people that have been successful in these different sports, or basically the game of iron, I'll say, um, kind of covers the whole field. Why they usually retire, why they say they retire, is because they're done achieving things. They basically feel that they've accomplished as much as they're going to accomplish, and they can probably keep accomplishing more. They feel that they can accomplish more. So for example, I'm thinking like Ronnie Coleman or um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. These guys have won the Olympia, you know, like seven times in a row. Or I don't know if it's been in a row, but they've won like seven times. And then, you know, having that behind them, they're like, okay, if I really wanted to, I know next year I can win. And, you know, the year after that, they can win. And even the year after that, they can win. Um, but why do they quit? You know, why would they give up all that they worked for those past years and finally quit? Well, I think it's for the same reason that all those past years, it's an accumulation of that. So think about it. Um, the top people don't really become the top of their sport until they're about 30. That's when they're at their, the peak of the peak, basically. That's when they're the best they're ever going to be, for the most part. So think if they start around the age of 14 to 18. So we're going to say it takes them about 12 to 15 years to actually, you know, go from the level of a beginner to go all the way to the level of a pro. And if it takes them that long to finally achieve that status, think of all the sacrifices that have to be made along the way. And then think of how much life they still have ahead of them. And I don't know whether you're a competitive um, lifter or what you do, but I believe that most people who spend a lot of time lifting and try to make progress lifting heavier or getting a better physique, eventually you start getting little injuries and little injuries, and those little injuries turn into bigger injuries down the line. Now, they may not necessarily prevent you from lifting weights, but over time they'll start adding up, which every morning you wake up and you'll start feeling that little nagging pain maybe in your knees or in your lower back or in your shoulders or whatever. Now these guys, they have to train through that. They have to train through injuries because they can't just, oh, my shoulder hurts a little bit. I'm going to quit lifting weights or whatever. It's like they can't, they can't do that because they're in a, in a, in a, their, men, their, mental, their mentality is that they have to compete, they have to do it at all odds, they have to win, they have to get a bigger total, because that's what the goal that they've set for themselves. They'll, they're willing to do anything at that point in time to advance in their careers. But there comes a point where these guys finally achieve the top, and they look back at all the sacrifices they've made throughout the years, and then they think to themselves, I can continue doing this for a few more years, but is it worth it? And this is kind of something I think and personally motivates me to not want to lift past probably 30 years old. And by lift, I mean like right now my main goal is to get as strong as I possibly can. But there's going to be a point in time where I don't want to focus on just getting as strong as I can because you got to consider that you're a human being too. It's not just, you know, keep lifting and keep advancing as much as you can until you're, you're basically dead. 
yes you can do that but these guys they know that there's more to life than just being a champion that doesn't necessarily mean that they quit lifting weights or they quit working out or they quit being active or even quit being a member of the community you'll see many of the professionals they're still attending events they're still hosting events or they're still involved in the fitness industry in some way